Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the author of What is WebSphere and the SCGA Certification Guides. Also the webmaster of technicalfacilitation.com where you can go to get all sorts of fantastic tutorials. If you come here, please check out my EJB portal web development tutorials. Um, maybe even um, click on a, a Google ad or two um, and help support the site. Um, also the webmaster of scga.com if you want to get certified um, in Java. This is the right place to go. Anyways, uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about was just linking back to the portal. I've got a, a simple portlet here, uh, a JSP display portlet that is a do view method that really doesn't do anything other than forward to a welcome JSP. And I've got a welcome JSP file right there in the root of the war file, which just displays just kind of some sneaky stuff. Hey, I know what browser you're using and I know what your preferred display language is. And uh, I can run this. It's a fairly simple and straightforward portlet. And it just displays information. Now, one of the things that, that does become sort of problematic is how does a portlet link back to itself? So with a typical servlet JSP application, we have a, a context root or the name of a servlet that we can link on, but a particular portlet can appear on any particular portal page um, in any order. Um, and in fact, an individual portlet can be placed on a portal page many, many times. So how do we have a portlet link back to itself. Well, it, it's not too difficult to do, although the concept is, isn't exactly straightforward. What you have to do is you have to use this uh, a method of the render request object. So I can just create a, a normal link. So ahref equals www.scj.com My Java cert site. We'll show you that that just creates a, a regular sort of link in your page. Um, how would I take this exact same thing and link it back to the portal? Now that becomes a, a little bit of a challenge. So how do I do that back to the portal? Well, the answer actually is to use a special, special method of the render request object. And I've got that little neat piece of information right here. What I have to do is I have to basically say create a render response object. So I say response inside of here. Do percentage equals render response dot create render URL. And what that's going to do is that's actually going to tell the portal to basically create a URL that links back to this particular portlet. I'm going to have that inside of an anchor tag. And it's not going to say my Java search site. It's going to say link back to this portlet. Um, and I'll actually even print out what the tag is. So we'll actually be able to, to see the tag in action. Now, what is it like about that? ahref equals, oh, okay, I'll do http colon backslash backslash. Hopefully it'll like that a little bit better. Oh, likes that. Good stuff. Okay, now let's actually run this JSP. Run run on server and let's see what happens. It re-renders our JSP. I'll double click to make this go large. Okay, This links to my Java site as you can see www.scj.com is displayed in the lower left hand corner. This will link back to this current portlet. So I'll click on the link and it'll take a second and it will re-render itself. There we go, it's re-rendering keeps linking back to itself. So it's working. Um, not too exciting, but it's working. Um, and you can actually see that that ends up being the URL to uniquely identify this particular portlet on this particular page. And you would never know that when you're developing a portlet. Um, all you can do is write code that says, hey, when this particular portlet runs, use the information from the portal to create a URL that will have this portlet link back to itself. And so that's how you end up using the render response create render URL. There's also a create action URL 
to trigger the action processing phase of a portlet. And that's really all I wanted to say about uh, linking back to the portal. Um, I'm going to show you another tutorial in a moment about creating HTML forms and linking back with forms, but it's basically the same idea. Um, please head over to my website, check out www.scja.com, um, pick up a copy of What is WebSphere and the SCJA Certification Guide, um, and even click on a couple of Google Ads if you're at my website as well. Anyways, thanks a lot and happy WebSphere.